For more than 70 years, the name of a famous journalist, orator, and white supremacist has been etched on the outside of an Atlanta high school, and now that name could be scrubbed away. Tuesday, an Atlanta school board panel recommended that Henry W. Grady High School be renamed in honor of Ida B. Wells, the Mississippi-born black female journalist who helped found the NAACP. New at 6, CBS 46's Bobeth Yates reports on the next steps in renaming Grady High. Since 1947, the school behind me has been named after Henry W. Grady, but his alleged controversial ties to white supremacy had many calling for a name change. The reason that we are coming to this in the first place is um, was to undo something. It wasn't just because we need a refresh on the name. Leslie Grant is the chair of the Atlanta Board of Education's Definitely. naming committee. She's been on the board for seven years and says the entire time she's been getting Grady name change requests. 2020 graduate Jay Hammond is among those spearheading the change. Students were becoming, you know, acutely aware that the person that was representing their school in the name was not somebody that uh, represented the values and the things that they wanted to represent as a community. Hammond says while Grady is known for his work to industrialize the city of Atlanta, his ties to white supremacy made the name unfit for the predominantly minority school, and instead he recommended Ida B. Wells. A quick search of her name and you'll find her multiple books exposing racism. Ida B. Wells was a black American uh, woman investigative journalist in one instance uh, directly responded to Henry W. Grady, his news practice of promoting and inciting uh, lynching violence. And while three of the seven committee members wanted a location-based name like Midtown or Piedmont for the high school, She's Grant says woman. Ida B. Wells makes a powerful statement. And there's just a lot of sort of undoing in bringing her forward. Everything about her life be represented in the future of the school does a lot, I think, to rectify the past. The full school board votes November the 2nd on whether to accept the name change recommendation. If it does pass, it will go into effect next school year. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.